Hey guys, I'm Jack. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about computers. I believe you are very familiar with computers. Computers are machines that can process information, store data, and perform tasks. They can help people do a lot, finish work, play games, and communicate with others. We have two types of computers. Desktop computer, laptop computer, the desktop computer is a type of computer that sits on a desk or table. It is larger than laptop's computer and has more processing power. It has computer case and we're going to connect devices. Input devices. Output devices. We need more space to store it and we need to plug a power. The laptop computer is a type of computer that is portable and can be easily carried around. The laptop has its own input and output devices and can be used without a power source for a limited time using its battery. A computer has two parts, hardware, software. Computer hardware refers to the physical parts of a computer that you can touch and see. It includes components such as central processing unit, motherboard, memory, storage, graphics card, monitor, keyboard, mouse, speakers. These parts work together to process information and display the results on the screen. CPU or central processing unit is the brain of a computer. It is responsible for carrying out instructions and performing calculations. The CPU is responsible for executing most of the commands you give to your computer such as using a program, watching a video, browsing the web. The CPU is a small chip that is located on the motherboard. It connects to other components through a series of pins and slots. The CPU works by fetching instructions from memory, performing the necessary calculations, and then storing the results back in memory. There are two main types of CPUs, Intel and AMD. Different CPUs have different performance levels, and the type of CPU you choose will depend on your needs and budget. For example, if you are building a high-performance gaming computer, you likely want to choose a fast CPU with multiple cores. A computer motherboard is the main circuit board in a computer that connects all the other components. It is the backbone of the computer and acts as a hub for all the devices and parts that make up a computer system. The motherboard contains sockets for the CPU, memory, and other components. It also has slots for additional devices such as graphics cards, sound cards, and network cards. RAM or memory is a type of computer memory that temporarily stores data and information that your computer is currently using. RAM comes in different sizes and types. Most modern computers use DDR4 RAM, which stands for Double Data RAID 4. The amount of RAM you need will depend on the type of work you do on your computer and the operating system you use. For example, if you use your computer for tasks such as gaming, video editing, or graphic design, you may want to have at least 8GB or 16GB of RAM. Computer storage refers to the place where your computer saves its data and files. There are two main types of computer storage, hard drives and solid state drives. A hard drive is a spinning disk that stores your data using magnetic particles. Hard drives are typically larger and less expensive than solid-state drives, but they are also slower and more susceptible to physical damage. SSDs are faster, more reliable, and more expensive than hard drives. They are also less susceptible to physical damage. The amount of storage you need will depend on the type of work you do on your computer and how much data you want to store. If you use your computer for tasks such as gaming, video editing, or graphic design, you may want to have at least 500 gigabytes or 1 terabyte of storage. If you simply use your computer for email, web browsing, and other basic tasks, you may only need 128 gigabytes or 256 gigabytes of storage. GPU or graphics card is a type of computer chip that is specifically designed to handle the complex calculations required for rendering images and video. The GPU is responsible for rendering the images, text, and animations that you see on your computer screen. Think of a GPU as a dedicated artist who can create 
and render images much faster than a general purpose computer processor. The GPU is designed to work in parallel with the CPU, allowing it to handle tasks that would otherwise slow down the CPU. Most modern computers come with integrated GPUs, which are built into the main computer processor. However, if you use your computer for tasks such as gaming, video editing, or graphic design, you may want to consider a dedicated GPU, which is a separate card that you can add to your computer. Dedicated GPUs are more powerful than integrated GPUs and can handle more demanding tasks. A computer monitor is the screen that displays the information and images generated by your computer. It is an important part of your computer setup, as it allows you to see and interact with the information on your computer. The size of the monitor is measured in inches, and the most common sizes are 19, 23, 27, and 32 inches. Larger monitors are great for tasks that require a lot of screen space, such as video editing or graphic design, while smaller monitors are more suitable for basic tasks such as email and web browsing. The resolution of a monitor refers to the number of pixels or dots that make up the image on the screen. The higher the resolution, the sharper and more detailed the image. Monitors can support different resolutions. The resolution of the monitor is also important, as it determines how sharp and detailed the images on the screen will appear. A higher resolution will result in a clearer and more detailed image, but it will also require more processing power from your computer. A computer keyboard is a device with buttons used to type and input information into a computer. It has letters, numbers, and symbols on the buttons, which you press with your fingers to type out words, numbers, and commands. A keyboard also has special buttons for specific functions such as Enter, Delete, and Control. It is connected to the computer either by a wire or wirelessly, and is an essential tool for interacting with a computer. A computer mouse is a pointing device used to control the movement of a cursor on a computer screen. It has buttons that you press with your fingers to perform actions such as clicking and selecting items on the screen. The mouse is moved around on a flat surface to move the cursor, and its movement is translated into actions on the screen. It is usually connected to a computer with a wire or wirelessly. Computer speakers are devices that produce sound from the computer. They receive audio signals from the computer and use them to play sound through the speaker's drivers. The speakers are connected to the computer either by a wire or wirelessly and allow the user to hear sound from the computer, such as music, videos, and system sounds. After introducing the common hardware, let's look at the software. Computer software is a set of instructions that tell the computer what to do. It includes applications and operating systems. We have two common types of personal computer systems, Windows or PC system, Mac OS or Apple system. The applications we need to install in the computer system. We can install many applications, game software, office software, video editing software, web browser software, and communication software. That's it for today's video. The core words and video notes I have uploaded to my website. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and give me a thumbs up and share. See you next video.